Hey everyone, uh, I am disrupting the clips of my top 10 stream because uh, I I just watched an incredible movie, a absolutely amazing film. Uh, for those who didn't watch my stream yesterday, my These People Hate Cinema stream, uh, you know, uh, you missed that I got this uh, from Criterion, Kanoa, A Shameful Memory. Uh, you know, it's just kind of part of my um, deep dive into Mexican cinema that I've been kind of doing this year. It's been really great. Uh, and, and this has been, you know, one of, one of the probably, I mean, it's this oh, so far of all the Mexican movies that I've seen <clears throat> on this sort of trip that I've gone. This, this this is the one that's just absolutely blown my mind the most. Um, God, it, this is um, so first of all, it's a movie that's based on a real story. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a story of uh, a, a group of uh, university employees who were mistaken for university students who back in uh, Mexico during this time, for, for those who don't know, Mexico existed under a right wing dictatorship for 70 years. Um, and during that time, uh, university students were seen as communists and stuff like that. And, you know, during and, and especially in the 60s and stuff, in the 60s through 70s, rural areas were really disconnected from, you know, society. So they were very, very religious and stuff like that. They weren't very well educated. Uh, illiteracy was very high or literacy was very low um, in rural areas back in the day. Uh, so, you know, they, they were essentially manipulated by um, by a corrupt priest into yeah uh, violently lynching and killing um a, a number of university employees who were just trying to go out for a hike uh and this movie is a fictional of course uh account of that but it feels so real it feels so immediate and um you know and it doesn't do it you know by your traditional like oh yeah we're gonna just like shoot it like a documentary and all that shit no um this is more of uh like how do I describe it? This is a lot more like uh, it's it's a film, right? Like it's a film and all that shit in, in the sense that like it's using filmmaking to recreate this event in such a way by, by using nonlinear storytelling, fourth wall breaking and a couple of experimental techniques to to present this event in a way that feels more real than real. And just the, the sense of dread that permeates through this movie um is is up there with some of the best horror films and stuff like that i mean same thing with the uh well you know the inevitable uh <laughs> the inevitable events at the sort of beginning of the movie foretells unfold um and yeah just watching this movie was an absolute like uh tense and and horrifying experience it's uh you know it's a film about mob mentality it's a film about like uh the manipulation of of people who are economically <clears throat> you know, economically uh, struggling and stuff like that, who feel disconnected and disenfranchised by, by greater society. And then, you know, when you see that and, and you see how corrupt Christians are manipulating a lot of, like, uh, you know, disenfranchised rural areas here in the United States and painting all, you know, gay people as groomers or all, uh, you know, BLM protesters as violent and stuff like that. Like, you see it. You see it in America now. Uh, which which I think really kind of says something about where we're at in the country as a country when um yeah when when we're in this position um yeah this this movie is you know it's a great movie it's a fantastic movie but it's not one that's gonna make you feel all that great you know like it's not a it's not a feel good movie by any means this movie is horrifying uh but you know this is the power of cinema like this is what's so great for me. Uh, as a you know as a mexican american of watching this movie it's not just so much like learning parts of like my history and stuff like that but also just like seeing how people from like my culture and stuff you know use cinema to tell their stories and i really enjoyed how uh felipe Caza uh, casals i think's his name felipe casals yeah i think it's casals i'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce that uh yeah i i just really like the way that he uses so many different filmmaking techniques and narrative techniques to present this film uh and, and it's incredibly effective uh i yeah i i cannot recommend this movie enough uh canoa it's available on criterion disc on criterion disc by the way the the transfer of course is criterion they they make beautiful um their transfers are absolutely amazing and this is no exception 
Um, yeah, if I think that's the only way to see it, or maybe on the Criterion channel it might be on there. But if you can find a way to see it, you know, rent it or something, I, I cannot recommend Kanoa enough. It's it's an absolutely uh, incredible, horrifying uh, piece of, of filmmaking. And uh, yeah, I think everybody should watch it. Uh, so yeah, if you do decide to see it or you have seen it, uh, go ahead and let me know what you thought about it below. Because this is a movie that I think uh, warrants a lot of this <clears throat> warrants a lot of discussion. So uh, thanks for watching. Till next time.